physicists believe the universe originated in an event called the Big Bang, which occurred approximately 13.7 billion years ago. However, this raises a critical question, what triggered that explosion, and why did it happen? Over the years, scientists have studied and explored the nature and history of the universe, with the Big Bang theory remaining the most widely accepted explanation for everything we observe today. Numerous studies have been conducted, with thousands of scientists working on research, and the data gathered has consistently supported the Big Bang theory as the primary model for the creation of the universe. According to this theory, dark energy, a form of energy even more prevalent than galactic energy, is believed to be the anti-gravitational force responsible for the universe's continued expansion since the Big Bang. Today, science is vastly different from what it once was, and with advancements in technology, new theories often arise. Many times, what we once thought to be absolute truths turn out to be far from it. Renowned physicist Michio Kaku has even called for a re-examination of the Big Bang theory, spurred by the James Webb Space Telescope's discovery of 750 new galaxies that don't match previous expectations. This discovery opens a new perspective and compels us to investigate further how the James Webb Telescope is reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. Join us on this fascinating journey beyond the observable universe, uncovering the details behind the vast number of new galaxies that have been revealed. If you're interested in staying updated on the latest discoveries in the universe and beyond, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like this video, share it with others, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. The new galaxies captured by the James Webb Space Telescope are truly breathtaking. In a single image, we can see hundreds of galaxies clustered together, and the sheer beauty and impact of these images are astonishing. However, what leaves the average person in awe causes a very different reaction among researchers. Although these images are visually stunning, they don't align with what scientists expected based on current models. In fact, far more galaxies are being observed than previously predicted, and these galaxies differ significantly from others. They are smaller and appear much older than scientists imagined. These surprising revelations have stirred up concern within the scientific community, with one article even starting with the word, panic, in its title, illustrating the gravity of the situation. These galaxies are nothing like what they were thought to be according to established theories. For years, the Big Bang theory has served as the prevailing explanation for the origins of the vast universe. According to the theory, around 13.7 billion years ago, the universe came into being through a mysterious cosmic event. But the new images challenge this long-held narrative about the cosmos' birth. The remarkable photos taken by the James Webb Telescope have questioned our previous understanding of the universe's origins. Specifically, these new findings contradict the Big Bang hypothesis, which has long been viewed as a solid, unquestionable truth in cosmology. The galaxies captured by the telescope appear far too small, smooth, ancient, and abundant compared to what the Big Bang hypothesis predicted. Notably, these galaxies are two to three times smaller than those seen in images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope, defying the expected behavior in an expanding universe. The Big Bang hypothesis suggests that as the universe expands, distant objects should appear larger. Yet, the galaxies seen by the James Webb Telescope defy this expectation. Additionally, the smoothness of these galaxies is another major surprise. According to the Big Bang theory, galaxies should display irregularities and variations in their structures, influenced by the dynamics of their formation and evolution. However, these galaxies appear unusually smooth, lacking the complexity one would expect for their age. This unexpected smoothness contradicts the established timeline of galaxy formation and development. In the early universe, all matter, energy, and the essential building blocks of the cosmos were compressed into a highly concentrated point known as a singularity. At this stage, the density reached an infinitely high value due to the intense compression of matter and energy. The idea of a singularity is based on our current understanding of the laws of physics, especially Albert Einstein's equations of general relativity. Inside the singularity, all matter and energy existed in a compressed form, indicating that a vast amount of mass and energy was concentrated in a tiny, infinitesimal space. Under the extreme pressure and density present in the singularity, unimaginable heat was generated, with temperatures far beyond what we can observe or reproduce. The immense energy stored in this hot, dense point served as the seed for the universe we know today. This singularity marked the beginning of everything in the cosmos. Following the singularity, the universe embarked on a journey of expansion and inflation, a process that unfolded over approximately 13.7 billion years, leading to the universe as we know it. The expansion began with a rapid and extraordinary burst known as cosmic inflation, during which the universe expanded at a speed far exceeding that of light. 
It was as though the very fabric of space stretched, pulling everything within it. Cosmic inflation played a vital role in shaping the large-scale structure of the universe, smoothing out irregularities and enabling the formation of galaxies, stars, and other cosmic structures. As time passed, the rate of expansion gradually slowed. Though cosmic inflation was rapid, the universe continues to expand at a measurable rate today, a phenomenon known as cosmic expansion. Scientists have observed this expansion through various methods, such as the redshift of light from distant galaxies. Redshift occurs as the universe expands, causing light waves to stretch and shift toward longer wavelengths, moving them to the red end of the spectrum. During the expansion, all matter in the universe was compressed into a minuscule volume, which caused transformations. As the universe expanded and cooled, particles such as protons, neutrons, and electrons began interacting with the surrounding light and energy, playing a key role in the formation of matter. This process, known as nucleosynthesis, occurred in the first few minutes following the Big Bang. Scientists had anticipated chaotic, disrupted galaxies due to numerous collisions, but the James Webb Telescope's images tell a different story. Instead of chaos, they reveal well-ordered disks and spiral structures similar to the galaxies we observe today. This finding challenges the idea that mergers are a frequent occurrence in galaxy evolution. If these new galaxies haven't undergone many or any mergers, it suggests that small galaxies didn't grow to hundreds of times their size, as expected. Instead, these galaxies may have always been as large as they are now. Moreover, the predicted optical illusion from the expanding universe hypothesis, where objects appear smaller due to expansion, doesn't apply here. This calls into question much of what we previously believed. Additionally, the age and sheer number of galaxies revealed by the James Webb Space Telescope raise further doubts about the validity of the Big Bang theory. The telescope's advanced filters allow for imaging in the infrared spectrum, enabling scientists to study the colors of distant galaxies. By analyzing these colors, astronomers can estimate the ages of stars and galaxies. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future updates.